Away we go. Got to be careful not to get spotted. and protect the underworld. It's a king, Agamemnon. Go to the gates and protect the people the way you do best. Careful. High security.
not here to fight you. I need you. I said, yeah. fight! Rise up and be a hero for Hades, and for all the people in the Underworld.
brought the woman to the pyre. <sighs> I like having an assistant. If only you were dead, you could stay forever. Unfortunately, not my plan. Such is life. And death. On to the next lost souls. A family devastated by war wanders without refuge. I know how it feels to lose a home. Yes, you all have sad stories to tell. At least most who come here are dead now. I think I would still be sad if I was dead. The suffering you fleshlings inflict on each other never ceases to astound me. And that's why we are helping all the lost we can. You're right. They deserve to have somewhere safe to stay. Back. I know how to fight. I'm not here to hurt you. Then what do you want? I've come to take you away from this place. Take you somewhere safe. Why would you help us? I was asked to find you and take you to safety. We have no friends here. Only each other. But the hounds are drawing close, so what choice do we have? There has to be somewhere nearby where you'd be safe. There's a cave not too far from here that could provide some shelter. It didn't look very inviting, but it's better than here. Anywhere else? There was also an abandoned camp. It would be ideal if not for all the strange creatures in the area. It could be dangerous. We should go to the camp. Stay close. out here.
What's going on here? A disaster! Can't I just have a normal day of ferrying the dead? <sighs> Tell me what happened. All of these souls have had their coins stolen. Assistant, you have to find the thief and get the coins back so the dead can cross the sticks. Why don't you just let them through? <sighs> I know you're new around here, but that's not really how we do things in the underworld. Besides, Hades would burn me one toe at a time if I did. All right. I'll find the coin thief. You hear that, everyone? My assistant will find the coin thief. Why would anyone want to rob the dead? Isn't it obvious? The coins are used to pay me for passage across the sticks into the underworld. Do you suspect anyone here already? So many pass through, and honestly, you all look the same to me. Come on, think. Well, there was a merchant and a politician who acted strangely. They were the only ones not storming my dock. I'll come back when I have news. I'd start looking in the Passage of Souls. It's where the first coins went missing. Good luck. With all the thieves in the underworld, I'll need it. I should watch my step around here. Ella. Yeah. Come on. Looks like someone buried something here and then came back for it. Must have been in a hurry. Empty coin purses. The strings have been cut. You don't look like the usual people I see passing through here. I'm not dead, if that's what you mean. I'm searching for something. Makes two of us. I'm looking for the coins I lost. Uh, they must be around here somewhere. Think of when you last had them. I remember wandering with the crowd of other people. We were all moving towards the dock. I don't remember where we came from. But as we reached this place, the crowd halted as a man, a politician I think, got up and addressed us. Where were you when you realized your coins were missing? At the dock. I was going to pay the ferryman when I discovered they were gone. Did you see anything strange during your travels? Mm. Only the politician. He was moving away from the docks while everyone else was moving toward them. I have to go. Good luck in your search. A dagger. Looks expensive. Must have been used to cut the coins out. How am I supposed to find anything in this dirty, horrible wasteland? You must be looking for your stolen coins. How do you know? Maybe you're the criminal who came to admire their handiwork. I'm looking for the thief, too, but I won't help with that attitude. Fine. I found nothing here myself anyway. I found this dagger. Remind you of anything? Aha! That's what I felt. It nicked me when they cut the strings of my purse. So did you see who did it? No, I was too focused on the politician addressing the crowd. Captivating man. You must remember when you last had your coins. Of course I remember. 
I was walking through the valley with the rest and struck up conversation with a merchant. So arrogant. Still wearing his jewels and gold. Won't do much for him here. <laughs> when I reached the docks, they were gone. Did anything catch your attention? The merchant I spoke to seemed nervous. He asked if we really had to pay the ferryman. Perhaps his coins were already stolen? I think I've got what I need. The witness was cut while the politician was speaking to the cut. A gold bracelet. But it's broken. Must have snapped when its owner was digging. Finally. I was starting to worry you'd got lost. I didn't think your kind were capable of worrying. There are many things you don't know about us. Like how impatient we are. Have you discovered who stole the coins? So, the dead were robbed while a politician gave a speech. One witness thought he looked suspicious because he was wandering through the crowd, away from the docks. Ah, yes. Even I noticed him. But a rich merchant was asking about paying the toll. I found a nice dagger that must have cut the coins out. And I found a gold bracelet near the hole that hid the coins. The plot thickens. It was the merchant. He stole the coins. A greedy merchant. Typical. Come, let us deal with him and be done with this. So you are the one who took the coins from these people. This is nonsense. No one should have to pay to enter the underworld. Spare me your platitudes. You stole because you're greedy. These people had nothing in life. They need nothing in death. If I can't live a comfortable life, nobody should. Hades, so nice to see you. Whatever brings you to my shore? I could hear this ruckus from the bowels of Tartarus. What is happening here? <laughs> this man stole coins from the dead and then threw them into the river Styx. Mortals always seem to find new ways to surprise me. I'm glad you're finding this funny, but these people had coins for fair passage and now they don't. If they do not have coins, they cannot cross into my realm. That is the law, Aroth. They were sent here with the coins as law and tradition state. They deserve to be granted passage. Why don't we let our friend here decide their fate? These people were robbed of their chance for peace. They deserve passage. Well said, Alexios. They will be granted passage to the underworld. And what of him? Feed him to your hounds. <laughs> I was hoping you'd say that. <laughs> mm. 
Sometimes we have to make difficult choices. To be able to do so confidently is a rare trait in your kind. I've done it before. I'll have to do it again. For such a hopeless fleshling, you've come a long way. Now that Hades is gone, there's something you should have. Thank you, Aaron. It's a shame you have to go. You've been a good assistant. I hope you find the answers you seek. Let's go, Phobos. I need to stay hidden. we go now. Alexios returns. Victory written across his face. Where's your brother? Not here to settle any bets? It's already been settled. He lost. The gates have their guardians. Haron's lost souls have found peace. Now, tell me what you know about the staff. <laughs> I never promised you that. I promised to fulfill your destiny. Mastering this staff is my destiny, and you're going to show me. You were never in a position to bargain with me. Your life was mine. The moment you killed Cerberus, I could have had anyone place guardians at those gates. Truth is, I needed you to grow a custom. What are you talking about? Oh, did I not mention? I have a fifth gate. And you're going to spend the rest of eternity protecting it. That is your destiny. I didn't bow to your wife, and I won't bow to you. <laughs> oh, you'll fucking bow. Listening to you? I've 
Don't see what's funny. You act like any of this matters. But you're a prisoner wherever you are. Malaka! Victoria, what did you do? You guys okay down there? Cut the comms! This has gone way too far. I'm shutting this down. I can handle it. You're not acting like yourself. You're acting like a child. Look at you! Can't you see what the staff is doing? Plugging into Themos' memories. Letting you run rogue in the underworld? It's the bleeding effect. It's hurting you. You need to stop. Give it back, now! No! It's me or the staff! You have to choose! Let go! It's not worth it! This is for your own! Get up, Victoria! Memories would never do this. Do this? Victoria was my friend. It wasn't me. This it... won't work. I need time. You think I did this on purpose? It was the staff, Alethea. I'm not a bad person. I don't kill. The air of memories in my vision had foresight. Your reaction was entirely human and inhumane. I fear you'll learn nothing from what I've created for you. I am the heir of memories. I can control the staff. Listen to me. I, I know I can do it. That is not for you to decide. I decide your worthiness. Though it may be too late for that. Fine. I'll go for a while. Just... Don't let anything happen to her, okay? And don't leave. Please. I'll be back. I'm not going anywhere. Damn it. I'm sorry, Victoria. But I can't quit now. Back so soon? 
Alethea, I know I wasn't gone long in the Animus, but I couldn't wait. I've been thinking about whether or not I should let you continue. And I have my answer, but I'm afraid you won't like it. Don't tell me I can't go into the third simulation. I'm sorry, Layla. I made a miscalculation, and I factored you in when it was a mistake to do so. I see that clearly now. It's time for you to leave Atlantis. You can't do this. Not now! I've seen Elysium and the Underworld. You can't take that away! If I'd known this reality would go the direction it did, you wouldn't have seen any of it. You're too human. Your DNA has succumbed to the corrupting nature of the staff. Listen, I know the bleeding effect is real, and accessing Demos's memory did affect me. But I've studied Isu artifacts. This is the last stage of my trials. When it's over, my DNA will be able to overcome the staff's control. Perhaps. But you won't see that through. My simulations are closed to you. I'm really sorry, Alithia. For everything up until now. You had such high hopes for me. I did, yes. But that was my own fault. I should never have let you go down this path. No, that's the thing. You were right. You saw something in me that... That I'd be the one to bring balance. And I still can if you let me. Even if I were to let you in, your doctor is dead. If I could take that back, I would. But I can't. And I have to keep going. From her calculations, your body wouldn't be able to withstand the simulations. My body is fine. The staff kept Alexios alive for thousands of years. I've got a protection guarantee. Your mind is a different story altogether. You don't have the sense to see its degradation. When you break it down, this staff heals, Alethea. I could come out of this smarter, more in control. Invincible. That's quite a leap in logic. Just let me see for myself. Please. Go. Oh my god, thank you. You won't regret this. Here we go. I'll see you inside. Enough! No need to shout. This isn't your domain, brother. Hey, this has nothing left to offer you. You are never meant to stay here, nor release you. You didn't belong on Gephalonia, and you didn't belong in Sparta. I can offer you a place you do belong. It's time you finally found it. Atlantis awaits. Anywhere's better than here. I won't forget this. There's no need for that here. You're safe. I've heard that before. This place isn't like any other you've been. There's no Persephone, no Hades. Just you. Just me. The Castis Vasilevs, the grand adjudicator of all Atlantis. But to you, I am Poseidon. What I'm offering you, Keeper of the Staff, is a place at my side. Join me as my guestes.
Welcome home. This place is the real Atlantis. I, I mean, it's intact. I thought this city was destroyed. Every seven years, our great city begins a new cycle. If judged to be imperfect. And who's the judge? Before your arrival, it was my decision alone. Now that I have you at my side, I intend for this cycle to last an eternity. If you're the Dicastis Vasilevs, you expect me to be... Dicastis, the judge. Be my hand in laying and enforcing judgment in Atlantis. Well, I must warn you that I'm not always right. I was both surprised and encouraged by your actions in the underworld. Fortunes were exchanged in response to your choices. But trust that I learned your reverence to justice is true. If you're the Dicastis Vasilevs... Well... I was both surprised... Hey, this must have told you about my staff. He didn't have to. As is the way with all heroes, your journey has become the stuff of Atlantean legend. Then you know my staff is the reason I'm here. I need to learn how to master it. This land is a paradise of power for those with Isu devices. But all in good time. So you expect me to live among you? A home among... gods? Gods? We are much more than the human conception of gods. Your father called us the ones who came before. But as Alithia told you, we are the issue. You know about my staff, Pythagoras, and Alithia? I'm starting to feel very watched. Your trials in both Elysium and the Underworld. No, your triumphs there are known to us. My trials forced me into rebellion. They made me face the dead. My hardships make me a good Dicastis. We don't always choose our path. But in this case, your blood shows for you. You possess both DNA strands. The best of humans and Isu. I have no doubt that you are our mutual future. I cry. I bleed. I make as many mistakes as anyone. How can I be the one you're looking for? It is precisely for those reasons that I know to trust you. Your sense of awareness is essential. If you say so. Humans have five senses to understand the world around them. We have been blessed a sixth. Knowledge. Ah, no! It is not merely your vision of the ego. The essence of that sense sleeps now, but it can be awoken in Atlantis. Your stuff is more than a key. It's a bridge between who you are now and who you must become. And if I fully awaken this sixth sense, I'll have mastered the staff. That and more. Come, let me show you. I accessed power sources in Elysium and the Underworld. They helped my knowledge, I think, but they haven't changed my senses. In Atlantis, you'll find the sources that awaken your new sense much more concentrated. Not only will your knowledge grow here, but it will thrive. You'll find three such sources once you leave this palace. You know them as Keeper's Insights. Doesn't look like anyone can get through. Is blocked to those who haven't full access to our knowledge. Find the source of that knowledge within this palace. Try to pass through once you do. Stand through technical means. No, I've got this. Stay out of it.
but it feels like the staff is becoming a part of me. I think I'm starting to understand. It's like I can feel Isu memories and hear their wisdom. Now I know what you meant about the sources being more concentrated. <laughs> I feel different. Many things are different here, the Castis. You'll discover that in time. Atlantis awaits you. I have one rule that is absolute. Our technology cannot be used on my human civilians. Their bodies cannot withstand the power. The Isu know this above all. So, I'm free to go. Uh, what task should the Dicastis do first? Even Atlantis is not a perfect society. It yearns for balance. So be that balance. Then when your role as guide to the people is fulfilled, it may well be perfection. Don't worry. You've already earned my respect, which is a trial in itself. This, His Eminence Atlas humbly requests that you join him at his doma to discuss a matter of grave importance. Right. I'll make sure to stop by. This place has more kings than Sparta. <laughs> 